Chrysler goes Carhartt for the New York Auto Show. Toyota has an art contest, and Ford of India breaks out the ball gags. I'm Rory, it's Casual Friday, let's do the news. Chrysler's trotting out another special edition, and this time they're partnering with Carhartt. Kinda makes sense, a Ram or a Jeep with some Carhartt touches could be pretty cool. But, they're gonna use a 200. So what do we have, a Carhartt brown interior? No. We have a cubby for some boots? No. We have a hammer loop? No. Looks like we'll be keeping an eye out for this exact same Chrysler 200 at future auto shows where it could be called the Gucci edition. Toyota recently revealed the winners of their Toyota Dream Car Art Contest. I have to say, artwork is pretty terrible. We've got a shoe shooting rainbows from its headlights, another shoe with a piano on the roof, a bunch of little kids tripping balls riding a dragon through Jurassic Park. What are we, we got car skiing here? We're skiing in a car? What the hell's going on here? Oh, oh. <laughs> So they were done uh, by children. And in that case, great job, kids. Ford of India recently found themselves in a little bit of controversy over a series of ads that were deemed insensitive. Let's have a look. You know, that first one's not so bad. We got Michael Schumacher, and it looks like he's kidnapped Sebastian Vettel and Fernando Alonso and a little chin strap. I don't get it, but I hardly think it's, uh, yeah, that one okay with Paris Hilton and the Kardashians. That's a little creepy. Oh, here we go. We got Silvio Berlusconi, and he's got some ladies bound up, and he stuffed some ball gags in their mouths. Yeah, okay, that is, uh, that's probably gonna be too much. Well, that's the news. We're back here on Monday, but until then, check out our other videos on AutoWeek.com and YouTube. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine, and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.